Over the uh, past decade or so, a concept of only partially irradiating the breast instead of doing the whole breast after a lumpectomy has emerged. And the term we use for this is called accelerated partial breast irradiation, or APBI. APBI, what is it? Well, what's the concept here? The concept is an important one. When we do lumpectomy and then do whole breast radiation therapy, including with external boost, uh, what generally happens is if we're going to have a recurrence of the cancer within the breast, 85, maybe 90% of the time, it'll reoccur in the original neighborhood. So the question was logically asked beginning several years ago, well, if that's the case, why do we need to irradiate the whole breast, particularly for larger breasted patients? And so the concept then of accelerated partial breast radiation therapy came forth. This is a continuation of what's called brachytherapy, where a lot of catheters were put into the breast. Brachytherapy has been around probably for a couple decades. And then you slid in little radioactive beads, had them there for a certain number of seconds, and took them out. But the breasts looked like a big shish kebab when they did this technique, all these different lines and things going into the breast. It was really pretty hideous, but it worked. The, the partial irradiation of just the neighborhood worked with brachytherapy. Then what happened is it emerged forth into devices that we could put into the breast after a lumpectomy, even on a delayed basis, to deliver or dwell in there the little radiation seeds for a certain number of seconds and take them out. And so one of the technologies had a balloon that would go in where the lumpectomy cavity was expanded, and then twice a day for five days, you would have radiation done. So that was called accelerated partial breast radiation. So then the concept matured even further, and particularly in Europe, well, why do we need to put these external devices in? Why don't we just do it at the time of the lumpectomy? And therefore, using mobile uh, intraoperative radiation therapy units to do just that. And the advantage then of doing that is you're giving one dose at one time, namely the time of the surgery, and you're done. And when you're delivering that dose, you've pulled a lot of the normal tissue, most of the normal tissue out of the way, and you're focusing the dose just where you need it. So a lot of research has gone on in this form of APBI, accelerated partial breast irradiation. A lot of data is out there using the devices that have been placed in the breast uh, after the lumpectomy. And it appears that APBI is certainly not inferior to whole breast radiation therapy uh, plus the boost. And obviously it shortens the time of the needed radiation therapy down considerably. So more and more momentum is moving forward using APBI uh, and particularly with intraoperative radiation therapy units uh, to do it at the time of the surgery. Uh, and I'll talk more about the details of what a single fraction radiation therapy is like. And I'll also talk later about using the boost that we do normally do externally, uh, do it at the time of the lumpectomy. So stay tuned for more videos on this really important subject. The Mobitron is a mobile self-shielding linear accelerator used to deliver intraoperative electron radiation therapy for the treatment of breast and other forms of cancer. To learn more about this exciting and cutting edge technology, please go to intraoperativemedical.com.